What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are taking a look at the Blizzard attack again. Um, and looking at it with the Lava Hound a little bit, especially in some of these attacks, this is something that's really been overpowering in addition to Dragons and E-Dragons, some other air combos, especially with the new Dragon Rider. Um, really liking the Blizzard one to showcase it here in today's video. And you can see that... Um, Really, a lot of these bases I've been seeing in the, at least in the CWL, um, you know, the in-game War League, it's a lot of compact bases that you can really exploit by using the Blizzard. And you can see here, um, this actually is an interesting example of how the Builder Hut can come in clutch for the Defender sometimes, because that Inferno Tower was so low, didn't quite go down to those Super Wizards, and it's going to be built pretty much all the way back up to full health. Now, of course, it will get taken out eventually in this attack, but it's kind of interesting how it actually was so low and actually goes all the way back up. I think they should increase the builder recovery speed just a little bit. That would make that builder hut a little bit more useful on defense. But anyway, um, it's kind of cool feature there. So uses the blizzard, uses the Sui heroes to kind of clean up what's left. I like pairing the uh, magical healing pony there uh, with the queen to uh, give her a little bit more life there. And uh, yeah, everything is coming through. The uh, Lava Hound, uh, followed by some balloons, followed by the Dragon Rider, just kind of making its way along. A nice little compliment to some of the balloons there, has a little extra range. And of course, because the Clan Castle has been fully lured, can use the Royal Champion with the Lalo, which is extremely powerful. Helps get that scatter shot taken out. Does draw a few of those ground skeletons and take some damage from that ground expo. But get some nice value on the ability, and then there we go. The uh, Royal Champion kind of cuts back and helps take out that Inferno Tower, uh, which was still up, not quite taken down by the Blizzard. Everything moving through the Electro Owl, of course, with the Royal Champion as usual. And a few nice back end freezes will finish this off as the balloons move through. So nice attack. Um, really, it's sometimes worth it to use that 30 troop space in addition to your. Uh, battle blimp to really get that blizzard deep into the base um, and I think uh, this was a good example of it Let's take a look at another one going to uh, number 11 he oh, I hit the wrong button going to number 11 here this is the uh, um, the war league uh, which I'm actually participating in, in one of my accounts um, getting my town hall 14 account leveled up as quickly as I can which is not very quickly um, but this one was another cool example using the dragons and a few of the dragon riders as well nice little hybrid attack there this one did not use a lava hound didn't get extremely deep into the base but the value was there if you see the you know the town hall against all these buildings especially all those defensive heroes you can really get a lot of that chain damage value just keeping everything in those uh, Invisibility spells. Now, one thing you got to be careful for, and this actually didn't hurt too much here because the value was mostly already gotten, but you got to be careful if the wizards are too close to the town hall, it will blow them to shreds. And that's what happened here. They were within a tile or two, and the uh, explosion damage uh, pretty much destroyed them. So you got to be a little careful that you don't drop, you know, the super wizards exactly on the town hall. In this case, they were one compartment shy, and unfortunately, we're just a little bit too close for comfort. But they got the value that was needed there. And then once again, this is kind of what we're seeing dominating, at least in these, um, I would say, semi-competitive wars. We're not totally looking at, um, you know, uh, qualifying wars for the Clash of Clans World Championship or anything like that. But uh, these are high level uh, bases for the most part. We're seeing a couple low level bases mixed in here. These are like semi maxed. Um, the big stuff's maxed, not necessarily some of the smaller stuff though. I think the air defenses are not yet upgraded in this one. Um, so semi max bases and semi good designs I would say. Yeah, that's probably what you're seeing too if you're a Town Hall 14 kind of in your everyday uh, experience as you move through uh, CWL. And yeah, uh, this is a great strategy, uh, taking the dragons with the dragon riders, um, and the blizzard's a great way to set it up. So we'll fast forward, take a look at one more. I believe this last one uses the lava hound as well, um, similar to the first attack. Uh, so we'll hop down to number 14. Now, this was actually a pretty solid clan we faced in the first, uh, the first matchup here on day one. So they, they bested us by two stars, but um, this base, very compact. Um, 
as I've said before, not fully maxed out by any means. Uh, some some lower level stuff here, uh, even though some of the bigger uh, items are maxed out. Um, so we can see here, gonna go really deep into the base. Wants to get all the way uh, close to that queen, close to the eagle. Lava Hand does a great job tanking that air defense and drops um, right into that compartment. Perfect placement. And these uh, super wizards are just gonna go to work here. Kind of hard to see actually where they are sometimes when they come out of that blimp, so you gotta be a little careful. Just make sure you're dropping your invisibility spells, have some faith that they're still alive somewhere in there. So they kind of did their job. It was a little unfortunate the eagle didn't go down. Um, obviously it's gonna take a lot of damage to get the eagle down, so um, there's really nothing in the base besides maybe the town hall or maybe the clan castle that's high enough hit points uh, such that the chain damage from that building can go to the eagle and propagate enough times to take it out. Um, so this is pretty typical, the eagle not going down there because it wasn't directly targeted, but got a ton of other great value which will set up the dragons uh, in just a moment. First gonna come in with the Sui for the town hall. Kind of, um, it's not a necessity, but typically you want either your blizzard or your heroes to take down the town hall because whether it's a dragon attack or a Lalo attack, it is the town hall is a beefy building and it's not great to be pushing through uh, with your normal set of troops. So good thing you got that taken out ahead of time. Uh, nice use of the Royal Champion coming in, getting some great value, gets an air defense, a scatter shot. Gonna grab an expo. Um, the little Pekka pet there turned out to be a good uh, partner there, Lassie, um, helping tank and do some other stuff as well. And the Royal Champion will actually continue on. I think maybe get one or two more buildings. Meanwhile, the Eagle finally goes down. Uh, did a good job keeping some of those dragons inside the base. And uh, that's pretty much it. You can see the Dragon Riders helping out as well. Actually have some wheels on them. Uh, they can move at a decent speed, especially since they only target defenses. They can move to the base pretty quickly. So um, good stuff there. Uh, quite a few troops left up at the end. We'll fast forward to the end of this attack and the end of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, hope to put out a few more videos uh, in the near future, so stay tuned, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.